um, you will find your people. Uh, you will continue to find yourself. It's just an inevitable process. Um, every stage of life is not permanent. Uh, yeah, it develops into something new that you never would have anticipated. This movie has been so beloved for so, or this musical has been so beloved for so long, and you have one of the first original songs. What does that feel like to bring to these fans who are already so, so devoted to the musical? Um, it means so much, especially because the fans, I feel like, are so deeply emotionally connected to the piece. Um, so to be, like, welcomed by them into the, I don't know, the legacy of the piece and, and to feel this positive reception and, and reinforcement of, like, oh, yeah, I understand to this, I relate to this, this means something to me, um, has just been, like, you know, a dream come true. Like, anytime anyone is, like, what you wrote or what you worked on made me feel less alone, that's, like, the entire goal. 18 months, very few movies in theaters. This one's going in. And this one's one where people can like sing along too. What do you hope audiences experience when they get to see it on a big screen? Um, I mean, I know that it's maybe not the most obvious thing, but I hope they have fun. <laughs> I know thematically you wouldn't think, oh, that's gonna be fun. But I think there are elements of it that are really fun. Um, I hope that uh, maybe it provides some catharsis for them, um, that it makes them feel seen, um, and that they feel like there's nothing wrong with them uh, because struggling with mental health is such a universal, normal thing. Um, and I hope that they they understand that, or, or I hope that they feel understood in that through the movie. Why do you think movies and entertainment opening up the conversation around mental health is so important? Um, I think it's kind of the responsibility of, of anyone in Hollywood um, as storytellers to tell stories that hopefully um, you know, uh, cater to our shared humanity. And so I think um, storytelling is one of the most powerful tools in terms of uh, creating empathy between people. And I think that that was our intention with this one, you know, to um, shed a light on the fact that so many of us struggle with, with these topics um, and to hopefully unify people, especially in the super polarized climate that we're living in right now. So, yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a great night. Thanks.